Hey guys, this is the Spirit Monger 187 and welcome back for another match of Shadow Era. Well, we're still stuck on 272 rating points because we have lost the last match. But we are still going to play the Amber Rain deck and we're going to kick ass. We're going to kick the ass of the Saladar. So let's see, our opening hand is pretty quick, maybe a bit too quick. And we can get rid of the Smashing Blow because we don't need it against the Saladar. I'm not scared of his weapons uh, and we're going to end turn so this hand is really quick turn 2 Puan, turn 3 probably the Alden, turn 4 we can disable his ability or delay his ability and let's just give our opponent the high have fun and hope we draw a blood frenzy as soon as possible um, let's get rid of I don't know why I put this one in the, in the deck I turn 39 cards and I had one slot left and I have put this one in but mm, I do want to keep this Alden so I'm going to get rid of this one and play the Puin and attack for one more and I think um, I hope not that this is going to be a, a very quick uh, run that I deal him a lot of damage that he's like let's say he has 14 life left and I'm all buffed out, so my hand is empty, I got no allies in play, you have to watch out for that. Um, ooh, this is a hard choice, I do not want to sacrifice this one, because I want to keep it, and I also do not want to sacrifice this one. We're just going for the risk all the way, I'm going to sacrifice the Alden, play an Alden and attack. We're just going to all the way. And why I say that is that I do want to play this one next turn. The priest to delay his ability. And deal some more damage. Because if I have kept all them, I couldn't play that next turn. Okay, there comes uh well um I think we're not going to play the priest, but no, we're not going to play the priest. This just changed everything. So we have to disable his ally. Attack him for three more. Good draw. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. I hope I can make it. And that's really it with this quick, uh, um, this quick amber rain deck. It's real quick. He's at 10 health now, turn 4. But I have to make it, I have to finish it off. If I don't do that, uh, I'm done for. Pretty much. If I don't draw any bad Santas or um, Blood Frenzies. But if I get below 270 rating points, I'm going to switch it uh, back to the old uh, Ember Rain deck again, I think. And that's removing the Christopher Wilds, removing the Blood Santas, and adding some more bigger allies in, into the deck. Because this one is all on, uh, this whole deck is based on really small drops. Do not even think I have something with four or five resources. Only that, that, that one ally that I had, that I put in because I had one slot left. But that's really the only card that costs more than four resources. Not more, nor cost four resources, except for the Jewelers Dream, of course. Um, but we can deal him some more damage here. Take him down to, what is it, one? And he has an Infinity Core, but he has no Analyze to shuffle back, so that's really nice. Let's see what he's going to do this turn. This was really a really quick match. Well, I've not won yet, but... Let's hope so. So here we can check my rating. 270. Oh, 274. Forgive me. I made a mistake. <laughs> I said uh, at the beginning of the video 272, but it's actually 274. So that's not too bad. There comes a mind control, and he's destroying that weapon. So he think he has some time to let it breathe, but I have a surprise for him. Just a new weapon here. Yeah? And we're going to attack. Take him down to three. 
So next turn we can pump it up and kill him. If he doesn't have any removal for it. I hope not. But he has a 42 card deck so maybe he has something. Or he just didn't draw it. But we got ourselves a blood frenzy here. Yeah? We're going to sacrifice his ally to draw some cards. And then he can shuffle it back into his library to gain some life. That sucks. So he's not dead yet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's a little bit of a combo here. Yeah, what we see. Um, this one is 3 for 5 resources. Here yep, we can play them both. That's right, really nice. I really hate it because it's losing uh, durability each turn he attacks. And that sucks because he's not dealing damage against them. So let's just freeze him, cripple him, whatever. And yeah, I hope 300 rating is enough. I really hope it. Because I uh, faced some guys who had like 350 rating points. And I guess there are more of them around who has that high rating. So. But I really do not know how they uh, maintain that rating. It's really hard to get it, but it's also hard to maintain it because if you lose against someone who has a little bit more lower rating, then you're uh, you're going to lose a lot of rating points. Okay, this doesn't look very good. Uh, oh my God! I can turn him to one. But we can't finish him off yet. Oh, we have to skip. Whoop, whoopsie. And let's just. Do we want to drop this or do we want to keep it? Maybe we draw an all the next turn. You never know. I sacrificed one. Mm, let's just keep this in hand. I think. Yeah, let's just keep this Christopher Wilde in hand. It will just end turn here. Yeah. So he's going to shoot me in the face, I think. Take me down to 20. And hit the priest with his behemoth. Yep, he is surviving. Living on the edge. <laughs> so that was what I was afraid of. If I didn't draw any uh, blood frenzy, it was really. I was really buffed out then. But he still has very, very low health. There are so many cards that can kill him now. Yep. That's it. That's a GG. So it was really smart for me to cap this ally. So we can play the Allen. Play the Christopher Wild. And there comes my GG and we'll just finish him off. So we did it, it was a pretty good hand, a pretty good start, but yeah, don't forget Saladar is a pretty nasty opponent, very good decks. I have 276 ratings, I hope I can do some more videos before the 1st of November showing you my rating and yeah, I hope you like this match, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you next match, cheers!